Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I had to, yeah, empty my camera card and continue. So, while that was happening, I thought of the general strategy I want to use, and that is I want to permute the last layer first and then orient it, because I can orient it using it a very um, basic beginner's method. So, with that said, what needs to happen here now? Um, so my first layer should be done. Right? And two pieces need to be switched. Okay. So let's try this T perm thing again. Hmm. Does not seem successful. But of course we won't give up. Um, I'm actually not even remembering what it was that I started with. But how about I'll just go with this one. Okay, so here's my first um, first layers down here. So red, green are my basic colors. Okay, and now I'm trying to decide how this lines up. Does not go there. So, okay. Obviously, this has to be a has to be a um, adjacent corner switch somehow. Yeah. Okay. Kind of getting there slowly, guys. So. Okay. So T perm. I'm just going to have to practice that a couple of times. Sounds ridiculous, but... Alright, so... R U R P U prime R prime F R2 U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime Oh, I think I know what I missed. Last attempt. So we bring the R2 U prime and then R prime U prime or U Yeah R prime U prime. Well we just have to give it a try. So this is my R wait F and R I mean U, sorry. This is F just tricky. Okay, R, U, R prime, U prime. R prime, F, R, 2, U prime. R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Oh boy. Is that right? I said R U and then I wasn't sure. Oh, that is so annoying because I got lost.
Once again, I do not know where I was. That is crazy. This thing is hard. Here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm going to have to write down the algorithm. So it's R U prime U prime R prime F R two and then U prime R prime U prime. R U R prime oh and of course F prime so I'm going to kind of mechanically go down over that and make sure I got it right so R sorry R U R prime U prime R prime F R T U prime R prime prime R U R prime F prime. Let us give this a try again. So here's my D face, my up face, and my um, R. And then F is right here. Guess yeah. All right, so we got R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, and then F, R two, U prime, R prime, U prime R U R prime F prime. So finally, at least I have this bottom thing right. And sure enough, we finally have our. Hey, we are definitely going to get it from here. We finally have our um, tetrahedral shape again. And luckily, everything is permuted right with that permutation. And now, with some carefulness, I should be able to rotate this guy and that one. So, because they're both in the right places, thankfully. So, we're just going to do this. Our prime. Well. Let's make it easier. We'll call it R prime D prime. R D R prime D prime R D and that did that one. So we bring this one over. Prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D prime D prime R D and here she goes and there we are guys finally wow that was a challenge I want to do this some more and I want to do my master morphic some more so it seems like when you take one platonic solid and condense it down into a smaller or different one um, it, yeah, it makes it pretty challenging. So that's really challenging for a 2x2. Two two. I did not expect it to be that challenging, but hey guys, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Um, let me know some other challenging shape mods to try. Besides a ghost cube, I have not worked myself out to get a ghost cube yet, but someday I will. So that's enjoyable. It's a Shang Shao Pyromorphics. It's pillowed. Maybe sometime I can get a non pillowed version, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.